Okay, all right. Oh, I just spat out of my own mouth. Let's do that again. Gross. What's up, everybody? Today we are talking about bullying. This video today came from a viewer. So they said, Hey Dan, after watching your videos for the past few years, I notice you give a lot of good advice, but I get bullied a lot. Can you please give me some tips so I don't come home in tears every day? It's not fun. School should be a fun place surrounded by your friends. Now, now, the problem with bullying, other than bullying, it's such a big topic and there's so many different situations and scenarios that I can't necessarily give you 10 bulletproof points like I do in my other videos because bullying is so specific to the situation that you're in. So I'm gonna hopefully help you change your perspective or your way of thinking so it's not as bad. I love school, I absolutely love school. Now, I'm not gonna be one of those people that come on the internet and, and preach this very sympathetic story. I'm not gonna do that because it's not fair. There's a lot of people out there that have had bullying experiences much worse than I have, but I will share three of them with you, okay? One of them, okay, as a kid, my hair was always fed up as a kid. So my mom decided to enroll in some haircutting classes at the local community center. Now as a kid you think, okay, you're in a course, you're, you're pretty much professional as a teacher there. But no, for years my mom cut my hair, not saying she cut the hair bad, but she took me to this class. So I go to this community center, I get in the class and there's a seat right at the front. The teacher calls me up, I sit in the front seat. I'm looking at like 10 women all with scissors like... Ready to use them, but I knew they didn't know how. So I think the point in time where I knew I was in some real shit was when the first lady came up and put the little tarp around my neck, but like four buttons too tight. So I'm like, yeah, no, it's good. So I started getting my hair cut, but it was one of these haircuts where everybody got a turn. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your fingers like that. Oh, no. Okay, that's all right. Uh, Janet, come over here. You're gonna give it a shot. No, oh, no, Janet messed up too, so don't feel too bad, okay? So, one lady comes up, she folds my ear like a Christmas present. She folds it this way, folds it this way, and folds it into a ball. Like Shrek, I had Shrek ears. I was in so much pain, but I was such a shy kid, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna say anything. Needless to say, I left that day with a botched haircut. It was bad. But, I went to this class four other times. So pretty much for an entire year, I had this haircut that looked like I got in a fight with a feral cat. And I went to school and people would often make fun of my hair. Look at your hair, would you get in a fight with a, with a pair of scissors? I got that one a lot, okay? Another time in grade eight, to remedy that issue, my mom took me to a place called First Choice Haircutters. This lady that cut my hair was a bad hairdresser. She would spray my hair down so it was completely wet and she would cut. It was like completely parallel with my eyebrows. So, so damn straight. You could build a house and use my bangs as a level. It was that bad. I ended up going to school looking like a 13 year old lesbian. Hey man, did your mom by any chance put a bowl on your head and just cut around it? I'm just like, uh, no, no she didn't. I got that so much um, that it kind of became a thing. Also, I had braces uh, pretty late in school. Most kids get it, elementary, maybe middle school. I had braces from grade 10 to grade 12. Those are like the prime years, okay? That's high school. So I had braces for that, and of course I got teased for braces when I first got them on. So that's my kind of experience with bullying. Let's get into some ways that we can help you out here, all right? First off, before we get into anything, let's be clear here. There isn't one single person on this entire planet that is perfect. If you're being bullied by somebody that's popular or they're cool and you feel like you don't have anything on them to bully them back, there's something there, but that brings me to my first point. Do not bully back. Do not become like those who hurt you. Don't go and bully somebody else. That only works if you're with brothers. If my older brother punched me, well then I have to go punch my younger brother. It's just the way brothers work. If you're being bullied, don't think that there's a fix of, okay, well I'll just bully somebody else. To go and do it to some other kid, well, just remember how you felt. Why would you want to do that to somebody else? That's not fair. That's just only feeding the problem. Two, avoid, avoid the bully. Now this isn't saying change your whole life up. Oh, I can't go to that mall anymore. I have to skip this class because we're in the same class together. Avoid the bully in a sense. Okay, well he takes this hallway to class. I'm just gonna take this one, even though it might be two minutes longer, take that one. You're not gonna see the person and you're eventually gonna kind of get out of their head. Number three, tell somebody. No, I'm not a p yeah, I ain't like that. I ain't gonna tell anybody. I ain't no rat. If we're talking about you getting physically beat up or even emotionally, that stuff hurts. Sometimes it gets out of hand. If they're beating you up and they're bigger than you, tell somebody. Tip number four, don't show your feelings. If you're in the hallway and they start making fun of you, walk away. Don't cry. Don't 
get angry, don't give them what they want. To a bully, that's what, that's what feeds them. They feel like I got power over you now because I made you cry. It's better to walk away and if you have to cry, walk away and cry. Or if you have to walk away and scream into your locker, do that. But tip number five, be a friend. Have a friend that has your back. And be a friend to be somebody else's back when they need you. Number six, be positive. Think about positivity in and don't view this and let it ruin you or consume you because if you waste your energy thinking about this bully, then they're winning. Me personally, if ever I'm having a bad day, a rough day, I'll make a YouTube video. I'll try and tell some jokes to make me feel better. I'll go skateboard, I'll go bike, I'll go paint. There's so many ways to release all this negativity in this world that aren't damaging to other people. View it from the bigger picture. Is it a fair playing field? Are they bigger than you? Do they have more friends to have their back? Do they have an audience that will laugh at no matter what they say? And if the answer is no, it's not fair, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. It's not worth it. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it's not fair. If you're a bully out there watching this, or you pretend that you're not, trust me, these experiences, these negative experiences that you're inflicting on people's lives will not be forgotten. Because there's times in my life where people have been mean to me that I'll never forget. And I always view this person as a negative person. And if ever I get some sort of success or something that they want, I'm gonna be the last person to help them because they were mean to me. So be nice! <laughs> the thing about growing up is that there's bullies everywhere. But I will say that kids are mean. Kids are mean, they don't have filters, they don't have the experience of life to kind of put them in their place and be like, no, you know, I've been bullied before, I'm not gonna do it to somebody else. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Uh, to the kid that sent me that, that letter, that note, um, hopefully that helps. You know, nobody should go to school or come home from school in tears every day. That's not a, that's not a way to go to school. So change it up and hopefully these help you, man. Um, thanks for watching my videos to everybody out there. Subscribe to me if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.